Whether you're just running for fun, chasing a PB, or even pursuing a podium place, it's always nice to see progress and improvement in your running speed. So how do we do it? Well, here are my top five tips for how you can run faster. And just before we get into it, if you do enjoy the video, please do give it a like and click the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Thank you very much. It is generally accepted that in order to run faster, you need to run more. Increasing your volume is almost guaranteed to improve your speed over all common race distances. But increasing volume should be done gradually over time to allow your body to adapt and to reduce the risk of injury. And a general rule of thumb is to add around 10% a week to your volume. In the run-up to a race, elite athletes may be covering well over 100 miles a week. So I need to run more hours, you say, but how do I fit that in? It's true that fitting your training around a busy lifestyle can be difficult. Finding a block of two hours to go and run is a challenge. Double days are great for a variety of reasons. Firstly, rather than trying to find a large chunk of time in your day, this allows you to split your run into two sessions, which might be more convenient. Secondly, it gives you the opportunity to run two different sessions in the day. So you might do a hard interval session in the morning and a more relaxed run in the evening. Running twice in a day will help you cover more mileage and also allows your body to become accustomed to running on tired legs. The two main risks with increasing your mileage are fatigue and injury. Running twice a day, four to six times a week can leave you feeling very tired. If you feel tired, you're less likely to want to get out of bed the next morning to do your next run. This can lead to a lack of motivation and loss of mojo moving forward. Furthermore, increasing your volume in this way leads to a much greater risk of picking up an injury. The answer is to slow down. There are no prizes for beating your PR every time you step out of the house. The vast majority of your weekly running should be done at conversational pace. You shouldn't be blowing or struggling. There's a tendency to think that if we're not working hard, then we're not making any gains. But the truth is, the physiological adaptions we're looking for occur just as well at slower speeds, but without the fatigue or injury risk. So whilst the vast majority of your running should be at a slow pace, you should not neglect the hard efforts. The other commonly accepted way to improve your running speed is to do interval training. There are many different forms of interval training, but the fundamental principle is that you run fast for a set time or distance, and then you recover by resting, walking or jogging for another set time or distance. For example, you might do 10 times one minute on and one minute off or you might do eight by 400 meters with a 200 meter recovery. Do these sessions at max or near max effort and at least once a week, but be sure that these interval training sessions only account for between 10 and 20% of your weekly volume. Combine increased volume with interval training and you have a winning combination. However, this is nothing without consistency. Improvements in speed will not happen overnight. Building volume can take months. Once you've reached your weekly goal mileage, whether it's 30, 50, 70 miles a week or more, you then need to remain consistent and disciplined. So try to get out there for every session with the main goal in the front of your mind. If you can keep consistent, you should start to see your speed improve from 5K right through to marathon distance and beyond. And if you keep up doing the long runs, you should be able to maintain that extra speed for longer. 
Of course, there are plenty of other factors which can help. Sleep and diet are the most obvious additional areas where you can help yourself become a faster runner. Having the standard eight plus hours of sleep will allow your body to rest, recover and rebuild. And having a balanced, healthy diet will enable the recovery and rebuilding process whilst giving your body the fuel it needs to run faster. No matter what distance you're training for, these principles hold true. Increased volume, interval training, sleep, diet and above all consistency and don't forget that running slower will help you increase your volume safely and effectively whilst maximizing those physiological gains so thank you very much for watching that's it if you found the video useful interesting or entertaining please do click the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed why not consider subscribing to support the channel a bit more if you'd like to see me do a crazy hard track interval session then watch that video right there and we will see you on the start line next time bye bye